How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? I'm Tohid Tohid Zaman. Where are you from? I'm from Chattogram. What do you do? I'm a language trainer. How often do you see your neighbors? Well, I very often see them, especially when I get out of home. I find them, see them, meet them, talk to them. Do you, do you ever see your neighbors? Of course, I have already said I always uh, see them. Uh, do you invite your neighbors to your home? Yeah, time to time, especially on any occasion and on holiday. If I have much time, I invite them to visit my house. Do you think you are a good neighbor? Very difficult and interesting question. Yes, I find my neighbors are very friendly with me because whenever we meet, we have a fun and uh, visit around the area together and have some tea. So thinking all this situation, I of course find them, they are really friendly with me. They love me. Okay. Has a neighbor ever helped you? Of course. During different kind of complicated situation and times, my neighbors helped me in many ways. And for an example, when my first child was going to be uh, being in the world, my neighbor helped me a lot, taking my wife to the hospital to get admitted in absence of me. Uh, describe a very difficult task you did as a part of your study or work. You should say, um, uh, what, what was the task? Why was the task very difficult? And how did you work on the task? And also explain how you felt when you successfully completed that task. Can I uh, take a few seconds to think of it? Of course, sure. Thank you very much, dear. Uh, of course, I have to think of this question. And they are really very relevant questions and interesting as well. Everybody has to face different situations in their lifetime. And in my case, when I was working in a private company, I had to go for a work, though it was not official and formal work, it is an informal work. My officer, of course, my boss, I mean, my director, father died, okay? And during this time, the director was in uh, USA, and from there, he phoned me to go to his village home as his father died in a village he was to be taken to the chittagong city because all of his relatives are waiting for his dead body to get it buried on sir i went to the village and that village was unfamiliar to me as it was a village at chapu i for the first time went there alone i started my journey and it was midnight when i reached there it was very dark i didn't find any vehicle anyone else or other i was scary about the total situation and there he, uh, of course, I met a driver who was coming from Dhaka and who was going to uh, Chatpur. But it was very difficult to believe a man at that time as it was the midnight of uh, midnight. So, in fact, uh, thinking and considering all the situation as I had to be there, I just got into the uh, micro and believe and remember all my tiala again and again so I can safely reach there. And of course, I reached there safely and uh, it was very uh, perfect timing for me as some of the relatives were waiting for us and they had arranged the ambulance there and watched the dead body. And I met them and uh, introduced myself to them and told them to, that I came from Chittagong to take the dead body to uh, Ch uh, Chattogram. So would you please help me to do that and what, uh, whether I have to do any kind of activities, official or unofficial, would you please let me know that. They were very cooperative and they said you didn't have to do any work. All the things were uh, done and death certificate also was done. You can carry uh, him uh, to Chittagong and they helped me to take it on refrigerator ambulance. And then we started our journey with the neighbor as well of their relatives. And we came to Chittagong at uh, 7 a.m. And after reaching there, we uh, took the dead body to the home and called the other relatives. And there was a janaja and then the dead body was buried. So it was really a difficult journey for me because I went there for the first time, having got the idea to maintain all these things reaching there. But it was only the Almighty Allah I have to all the time remember how he helped me and he approached there and he was present there to uh, give me courage in my heart to do and to continue such a difficult work as a successful one. Thank you, sir, for questioning me with the tremendous ideas and experience. And I am really delighted with this question answer. Thank you very much.